everybody and welcome to the eighth annual Start of the Year Summit. I'm Frank Gruber. And I'm Jen Consalvo and we are the co-CEOs of Established, the company that produces the Start of the Year program. We're also your hosts for the week. Thank you for being here with Yay. us. <laughs> we have so Before much we highlight today's programming, we want to share more about Established with you. Um, we want to share the great team of 10 behind this event. Yeah, our 10, our 10 team of 10, it's a tongue twister as well. Our team of 10 has been working really hard to bring together what, you know, this best possible event under the current cir circumstances that we're living in. And, um, you know, the established team is actually a consultancy that helps organizations with their innovation, startup, and communication strategies. And so we act as a force multiplier, giving our clients the ability to go above and beyond, um, you know, accomplishing their goals and whatever they're trying to do. So it's a... Uh, you know, more than just this event, uh, this is, you know, usually we do this event in person in a, in a location. So we've done Memphis and we've done uh, Boston and, and San Francisco and Las Vegas before. This is our first time bringing it to you online, although we've been bringing exciting virtual events online for the last, you know, six or so months. And we hope we're reaching more of you this way, right, you know? Right. But I think my point here is that we more do more than just events. Yes. This is just one aspect of what we do. So I wanted to share a little bit more about establishing what we're up to. Established is a consultancy that helps organizations with their innovation, startup, and communication strategies. We act as a force multiplier, giving our clients the ability to go above and beyond to accomplish greater goals than they would alone. Our mission is to, wherever and whenever possible, discover, promote, foster, connect, build, and or fund innovation that can change the world for the better. We help companies, organizations, and cities to develop, create, and execute successful strategies. The team at Established has been working in the startup ecosystem and innovation space for almost two decades. One of the things that has put Established on the map is our ecosystem strategy and the events and experiences associated with helping clients bolster their ecosystem exposure. Some of the various methods by which we provide exposure are our podcasts, virtual events, blogs, social media strategy and execution, and our daily deal flow newsletter, which continues to grow and currently reaches over 74,000 recipients. Established also produces and promotes events on behalf of our partners and clients. Additionally, one of the programs we've been working on the longest is our Startup of the Year program. A year-long program that searches the country for a geographically diverse set of startups from all backgrounds, pulling them together to compete for the title of Startup of the Year. The program includes a number of in-person and virtual events, including our annual South by Southwest startup pitch event and competition, all of which culminate at our annual Startup of the Year Summit, where the Startup of the Year winner is announced, along with an opportunity at potential investment through our investment arm called Established Ventures. Much of our work, though, is helping to provide startups with the connective tissue to help them be successful. We partner with investors and other organizations in ecosystems around the country, and in doing so, provide opportunities to startups with those various partners. Established also works with clients on branding, communication strategy, digital agency services and development, and more. With some of our clients, such as AFWorks and the NASA iTech program, we assist with research and development by fostering ecosystem connections, communication strategies, and startup sourcing to engage the startup community and solve some of the problems facing their organizations. So Establish is here to help you find and source innovations that will help you meet your goals faster. Connect with us today to learn more. That's a great look at what we do here at Established. And one thing I also want to call out is that we've got an investment arm called Established Ventures that's been investing in startups from our program since 2016. Yes, yeah, it's very Something exciting. Something we wanted to do for many, many, many years. And then in 2016, we were able to start. And it's been so exciting. A lot of missed opportunities in there from about 2006 know, to 2000. I know, it pains our heart. Yes. But, but lots of great companies we've been able to support because yeah. of this. Right. So... We want to tell you some of the things not to miss today on our first day of summit. Today, we're so excited to bring you conversations with Mike Evans, the founder of Grubhub and Fixer and author of Hangry, Meredith Feynman, the founder of Finepoint and author of Brag Better, Rohit Bhargava, the founder of Non-Obvious Company and author of Non-Obvious Megatrends. It's fascinating stuff. It is. You'll also enjoy the first set of our 2020 Start of the Year uh, top semifinalist pitches with so many incredible startups and judges, you won't want to miss it. There are also special engagement sessions with some of the Startup of the Year alumni that our venture arm, Established Ventures, has invested in. All throughout Summit, you'll also be able to engage directly with one another, investors, thought leaders, other startups, uh, and specifically today, mark your agenda to catch Marlon Nichols of Mac Venture Capital, Carolyn Rods of Hello Alice, and John Fine of Firebrand VC. 
One of the most important parts of making the most out of Summit this week is to network with all of your fellow attendees. So please make sure you do that. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to the conversations that are going to be had, both in the chat window, like in, like we're back in 1997, as well as <laughs> on your phones in, via via Twitter or whatever device you're on. You can join the conversation, and there should be a lot lot to be talked about out there. You know, my very first job was working on chat, early chat. Wow, here yeah. we are, back around, full circle. <laughs> All right, well, you guys can chat with each other throughout the day in conversation hallways and topic-focused breakout rooms. You can also do one-on-ones with each other. And of course, if you're on social media, like Twitter, Instagram, et cetera, you can find each other using the hashtag startup of year. See it right there on the screen, yep. hashtag startup of year. One thing we value most about our startup of year program is how we provide a worldwide platform for founders and their teams where they can share their work and connect to industry experts, investors, and leaders. And this is spe specifically our intention with Summit's curated office hours. Right. Last year at our summit in Memphis, we curated over 500 matchmaking meetings with our top 100 startups. The energy was, was electric. There was something really, was buzzing around and a lot of fun. It was really electric. Yeah. And we're doing the same thing here. It might be a little different, but it's online, it's happening, and you can participate. Yeah, and we, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we have also been doing a lot of different types of events online for the last six months. We're going to be doing recaps of some of those events. So there's four pop-up pitch events that we produced. You can watch the recaps. There's one around female founders, focus on female founders, black founders, U.S. veteran founders, and there's a special COVID-19 special uh, event where we, we showcase some of the startups within our ecosystem that are, are doing really interesting things to combat the global pandemic. So check those out. Um, some of the com companies that came part out of those events were Fast Track to be part of the semifinals here. So you might notice some and recognize some of those, those great companies that are, are here this week pitching. So Summit also kicks off this morning um, and we wanna thank all of our sponsors. So first I wanna thank our, one of our key sponsors here, .us, a top level domain. They're sponsoring the .us Veteran Start of the Year category. It's a $10,000 $10, non-dilutive cash prize and a free domain offer. So you'll be hearing more about that in a few minutes as we talk to um, Crystal Peterson from uh, .us. But, I wanted to share that you can also, you don't have to be a, a participant in the .us Veteran Start of the Year to, to win today. You actually can go get a free domain right now if you look the, at the, the, the URL on the screen, est.us forward slash summit US. You can go get a domain right now that's a .us. And we, we did. Went, we did. Yeah, no, we definitely <laughs> did. Uh, with establish.us and est.us, um, those are a lot of, a lot shorter than probably some of the domains you can get on other other mm -hmm. services. So uh, pretty cool. And, you know, check the chat, chat box right now as you'll be able to learn more about that. Uh, the .us veteran program will be taking place Wednesday and we'll be showcasing some of the, the participants as well as announcing the winner during our award ceremony that day. We also want to thank Cloud 303. It's a team of solution architects who implement solutions in the AWS cloud. Learn more at their session. It's called Ask a Cloud Expert Anything with Phil Sapinski taking place tomorrow, Tuesday. Thank you all for your support along with our other partners and sponsors. And with that, Welcome to Summit 2020. We appreciate all of you being here and hope you have a fantastic time. We're gonna start off by hearing a few words from Alexis Ohanian, the founder of Reddit, also investor, husband and dad, and one of our speakers from our very early conference right. I think I remember in that. Washington DC was, years yeah, ago. Years ago, he was there and he, he came in as, he's a big fan of the Washington Redskins. Yep, yep. That so area. he actually came in and spoke Jersey. in his Redskins journey, right. Jersey. Yep. <laughs> was awesome. Yeah, so, all right, let's hear a few words. Hey everybody, I'm Alexis Ohanian, co-founder of Reddit, and most recently, 776. It seems you all are doing a startup pitch competition. Quote, startup of the year. And I'm here to introduce myself and say some words, uh, hopefully of wisdom. You know, I've really felt so fortunate to have stumbled into this uh, career I mean, I came right out of college, starting a startup. Uh, it ended up working out pretty well, uh, but I actually could have been a lawyer. Uh, I walked out of an LSAT, thank goodness, uh, in order to go to a Waffle House, eat some waffles, and came to the conclusion that I probably shouldn't be a lawyer. And the startup community has gotten so much more impressive since then. That was back in 2005. 15 years later, I am still learning new things every day, especially in my role as an investor, because I get to meet founders like you all from day one who are willing to spend the next decade plus of their lives building something, uh, making things better. And uh, it's, it teaches me a lot, but like I said, it also motivates me a lot. So one of the things I ask founders to keep in mind in this journey is to really be intentional 
about the work you're doing. Um, be relentlessly resourceful when it comes to solving problems, talking to your customers, improving the product. In the early days before you find product market fit, that is most of your job. And if whatever you're doing is not either improving the product or service or talking to your customers, you probably shouldn't be doing it. It's really that simple. Everything should go through that lens. And, uh, and that's how you find something. And when you find that something, when the business starts growing on its own, when you have, uh, you know, effusive feedback emails from random uh, customers, when, when you're really seeing that traction and it's taking off, then you can start shifting your focus. But until then, just continue talking to your users, continue to improve the experience, and look for opportunities to create something that is 10x better. I know it, it sounds very vague, but you know, the power of software, the power of technology is to really do things tremendously better, cheaper, faster. And that's your charge, right? Is to come up with how you're going to use software to do that work better, cheaper, faster. And if the market is big enough, or you can make it big enough, then you've got the potential to build a billion dollar business. So good luck, go get them. And, uh, and thanks for listening this long. <laughs> Take care. Now Frank is going to catch up with our partner at .us who has been a big supporter of the Startup of the Year program this year. I'm headed out to prep for our first session today, Ask a VC with Marlon Nichols of Mac Venture Capital. So you have a great interview. I'm going to go have a great Ask a VC session. Looking forward to it. Joining me this morning is Crystal Peterson, Director of Registry with .us and their team. And she's also leads up their strategic partnerships and global channel development. She's an expert in brand management and she's here today to talk about the .us domain. Welcome, Crystal. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Share a little bit about the .us domain and why it's so important to, to you guys. Well, hello, Frank. Uh, it is really great to be here today. Um, you know, at .us, we believe uh, in helping everyone uh, pursue their vision of the American dream. And we know that that dream comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, and uh, flavors. Um, we have seen in a 2019 uh, small business profile report that was put on by the SBA that uh, small businesses add, uh, added 1.8 million uh, net new jobs in the United States. Mm -hmm. That year. So uh, for us, you know, at US, we believe that it's an important extension because we want to be able to support these small businesses in the best way we know how, and that is to provide a platform for them to jump online to be able to achieve their goals and dreams. Of course. And we love that about you guys. And, and obviously with Start of the Year, we're dedicated to bring, bringing those businesses to the national stage. Um, we, you know, have a great set of, of, of entrepreneurs of all different um, diverse backgrounds, including a subset of veterans, which is um, something that you guys are working with us on. And we're excited to be partnering with you and the .us team to create the first ever .us Veterans Start of the Year Award, where we're going to be awarding one veteran-led business and they'll receive a non-dilutive $10,000 cash prize. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Why is .us interested in supporting veterans and veteran founders? We are uh, so proud to support this program. Uh, one of the you know, this is one of the groups that we are most passionate about, about is, you know, U.S. veteran-led companies. Um, we have seen that more than 2.4 million uh, U.S. businesses are owned by veterans, um, and that accounts for about 9% of uh, all American, uh, you know, entities and companies uh, in employing over 5.8 million people. So oh. to us, that's something that should be highlighted, and uh, we, you know, we couldn't be more excited about uh you know, supporting veterans with this Veteran Startup of the Year uh, Award and um, seeing seeing what can happen and, and what comes out of it. Wow, that's incredible numbers. I mean, 5.8 million people, that's a lot. So I uh, really appreciate that support. And obviously we've worked with veteran businesses for years and we're always super impressed with, by them. Um, this year's Startup of the Year competition had over uh, 80 U.S. veteran-led businesses apply. So that's quite a bit. Um, we've had you know, a lot of them come through in the top, you know, top companies. And we're thrilled to have 18 out of the top 100 companies be founded by .us or by, by U.S. veterans, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, we want to make sure that you guys tune in to, to the highlight reel. where We're actually going to showcase some of these companies 
on Wednesday, uh, November 18th. It'll be at 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be showcasing those companies and what, what this program is all about. But um, and then obviously awarding the, the startup of the year, the dot US startup of the year uh, winner in our, our finals on um, to follow that. So about 3.30 Eastern on November 18th. So a lot of exciting stuff to come. But what, what have you seen with the dot US veteran startup of the year companies that you've, you've been interacting with? Well, uh, a lot of these veteran-led businesses in the top 100 are amazing examples of uh, grit, resilience, and uh, you know everything that veterans already bring to the table. So, uh, you know, founding and building a, a business is no small feat whatsoever. Um, you know, it takes uh, tons of dedication, persistence. Uh, you know, of course, wearing, you know, many, many hats, um, you know, like couldn't go on more about it. I mean, it, it's, it, it is, it is hard, but it is so rewarding, um, you know, when that business becomes successful. And it's been so exciting to see through um, this contest and just through a lot of the businesses that we've been able to see a lot of the, that determination. So we want to be able to do everything that we can to um, help people get their businesses off and running. Um, and we think that US is a perfect platform to help help veterans led businesses do that. Most definitely. And you know, there's an opportunity too for anybody that's listening that's not already part of that community. Um, we're giving away in partnership with you guys a free domain to everyone. So if you if you want a dot US domain, you can get it right now. And we actually we get we were kind of ahead of the trend, I guess you could say we got the dot US domain for established and established um, or EST.us. Uh, about three years ago. So we, we were ahead of it. So we didn't get the free domain, but for anyone that's out there with an idea that wants to get, to get something started, this is a great opportunity. Um, so if you're, if you're out there and you're listening, you can go to est.us forward slash summit us and, and get that right now. But what a great, great, great community to offer. Yeah, we, we are excited to be able to um, offer to, uh, you know, not just the veteran led businesses, not just as part of this program, but, you know, like you said, everyone to be able to, uh, get online. And, you know, whether you're just starting out or you already have a business and you were thinking of, you know, other opportunities that, that are out there, um, you know, and just have, you know, another idea that you want to, to get started. You know, we want to be able to um, promote that and, and assist that uh, in the best way we know how, which is to, to be able to get you that free offer to, to get online. So, you know, dot US, uh, you know, is a great option because uh, it's short, it's very distinctive, um, it's very memorable. Um, and, you know, we want to help folks stand out from the crowd so that they can get noticed online. So we believe that dot uh, US helps to immediately convey, you know, um, a high standard of quality uh, and, you know, uh, somewhere where people want to be for their online identity. We are super excited that Established has EST.US and we want to see more and more folks uh, jump online and uh, get their business or ideas uh, started. Well, we love that. Thank you so much, Crystal, for your support and all that you've been doing with the U.S. businesses and especially the .US Veteran Start the Year Award. Um, so one more question. How have you seen the .US domain being used? I know I've seen a lot of, you know, not only established, but other, other players in there too and want to get your take. Well, we've seen uh, .US be used in so many different ways in different industries in uh, different types of businesses, anywhere from uh, startup businesses, uh, you know, of any flavor, but, you know, in software, hardware, um, you know, small businesses, mom and pop shops, technology, uh, you know, restaurants, uh, you know, also as uh, URL shorteners, uh, you know, people really like, you know, whether they have a long maybe not as memorable name, uh, we have seen that US be used in order for people to um, showcase something that is more memorable. Um, and then of course, you know, near and dear to our hearts and what we're talking about today is uh, the uh, category and many veteran led businesses, uh, you know, have been on that US. So we are excited to support all of these uh, amazing businesses um, and uh, see what, what can happen. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you, .us. We're super excited to announce the winner this week and uh, just a few days. It's, we've been waiting, ramping up for it all year. Super excited. So thank you so much for joining us. Check out .us. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of opportunity. You can go get your domain right now. Thanks, Thanks. Crystal. Bye.